Hey everybody, Spine Ticks Pressing here, and I've got for you three books, Adventure Into Fear, Issue 10, Adventure Into Fear, Issue 11, and Werewolf by Night, Issue number 33. And I'm going to be looking at all three of them, making an evaluation of each, and then I need your help in selecting one to do a little more work on, some cleaning, and then a press for submission to CGC. So stay tuned. The first book that we're going to look at here in some detail is Adventure into Fear, issue number 10. This is, I guess, the first, sort of the first solo story of Man-Thing in a book. Uh, he did first appear in... Is it uh, Savage Tales number one, I believe, as a side story? And then he had a couple little appearances with Kazar in, in those uh, Kazar issues. But um, Man Thing sort of got his start here with Adventures into Fear, issue 10 and issue 11. And we'll look at both of those. So, just doing an evaluation of this book. And I'm going to start with the bindery of the book. The book itself uh, looks pretty simple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there we have the staples. And they look like they're in pretty good shape. I've got this bottom staple, the top portion of it looks a little raised but other than that looks pretty good just gonna take a look at some of the other aspects of the book edges look pretty solid the bottom edge the right edge and the top edge all look pretty solid um, no chipping no rips uh, maybe a little bit of an issue right here I'll just kind of rub it outward and see if it's like a little fold it'll come out doesn't look like it is corners got some issues up here this is a pretty worn corner this corner looks a little bit bent these corners look really nice and sharp and we've got a little bit of a funny overhang with the book on top let's flip it over to the back look at the edges in the corners you can see on the back there's a pretty noticeable spine roll that doesn't go the full length of the book, but just right up here. Top edge looks pretty good. Let's, uh, let's take the backer board off so you can see the edge a little bit better. This edge looks good. Some little bends here, one right there. Bottom edge looks pretty, pretty good. We do have, looks like a kind of a corner fold or some type of an impact on this corner caused a little bit of a crease there. Uh, there's a little issue here. There's a pretty good in indentation there. Back cover looks pretty yellow. And there's pretty noticeable yellowing on the inside of the front and the back. Let's take a look at the staples. They're good. They don't look recessed. A little bit of issues here and there, uh, right around the uh, staple. This side's fine. There are a number of color breaking spine ticks. You got one there. That may not be color breaking. Yeah, I think it is. One there, two, three, four, quite a few right in this area. This this red color really just makes it really difficult um, the cover itself looks pretty good um, if I tilt the book at an angle I can see some little lines and I'm not sure what that is my guess is that they're not scratches that it's just the the cover is becoming brittle that's what I believe is happening here and I don't really see it on the back inside of the cover so let's go to the comic book evaluation tool that um, was put out by Collect, or I think it's Improve Comics Collecting. 
and I've got a link for it in the description. I use it uh, on uh, assessing pretty much all of my books. I think it's a great tool. I think it has a tendency to evaluate the books a little bit on the conservative side, which I think is a good thing. So let's go to it and let's uh, enter in the results for this particular book. All right, so here is the comic collecting analysis tool. And this tool came from Improve Collecting Comics. And I've got the link to their page in the comments below. And so let's go ahead and let's evaluate Adventure into Fear number 10. So bindery looks pretty good. I'm gonna mark it as tiny. Corners, as I said, there are some issues with the top left corner. Back corners look good. The back, bottom left, and back, bottom right corners have some issues, so I'm gonna put moderate. Uh, edges look great throughout. So I'm going to say tiny. Spine looks pretty good. There are some color breaking spine ticks on the book. So I'm going to call it moderate. Staples look fine. No rust, no damage to the staples whatsoever. So I'm going to say, for the sake of, well, we'll say tiny. Cover looks pretty good. There are some of those, as I said, there's the cracking on the cover. It appears to be that the, uh, the book itself is, is becoming more brittle. I'm going to call it moderate. And the pages of the book, no issues to the inside pages whatsoever. Um, slight yellowing to the inside pages. So I'm going to say minor. So as of right now, the book appears to be a 7.0. And let's see if there's anything that can be cleaned up with the book. I believe maybe the cover can come down a notch. Pages, I think I can lighten the pages slightly. So let's give that a tiny. Let's stick though with the bindery, leave that the same corners don't believe there's going to be any improvement there edges same and spine gonna leave it the same staples the same so it looks like we're going to be able to pull this book to a 7.5 with uh, providing some work on this book but in the meantime, let's go to the next book, which is Adventure Into Fear number 11. This is a beautiful Neil Adams cover. And this particular issue is the first appearance of the Nexus of All Realities and the first appearance of this character, Jennifer Kale. I think this is a fairly important book right now for the MCU, uh, given the fact that we've now seen Man-Thing in the Werewolf by Night special, and the nexus of realities seems to be um, sort of that, uh, that location in the Florida Everglades that sort of links all the, the, um, links the multiverse together. So this book, just right off the bat, uh, in comparison to the other book, uh, looks a little, a touch better. Uh, colors are a little bit, this this nice green is a little bit more vibrant than the other one, but I think it's in relatively similar condition. Just starting with the edges, we've got some uh, finger bends up here at the top, two of them that will press out, but they are color breaking. Coming down this edge, looks great. This edge looks, there's one finger bend issue right there and it's partially color breaking bottom edge looks fine this area right here there's some type of damage here to the cover I'm not sure what it is i'd have to look at it with uh, my magnifying glasses with these guys here see uh see a little bit more information and let's look at the Spine, just sticking with the spine, there are one, two, three, about the same number of color breaking 
spine ticks on the spine. I think the book will look, just as the other one, I think it would look beautiful with a good cleaning and a press. Corners, pretty tight edge there, pretty tight edge there. A little bit of a corner uh, bend with some color breaking. And that corner looks, these corners look much better than the other book. Let's take a look at the back side of the book. Um, what jumps out to me right here is some type of issue not sure if it's residue or if that's just a dirty area but it looks like a little bit of a spine tick occurred there and uh, attracted a little bit of residue got some dirt going down here looks dirty i don't think this is staining to the book uh, it's possible right in this area let's take a look inside the cover and see if it does appear to be staining i don't see any evidence of staining Inside of the book looks much lighter than I expected it to look. Back's just dirty. Edges look pretty tight. Corners look good, good. Bottom right corner looks good. Top, upper top corner looks good. Colors look real, look real nice on that page. Let's uh, take a look at the bindery. The binding and bindery of the issue of the book. Let's see, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and we have the centerfold. Eight. All right, let's look here. Top staple looks good. Bottom staple does not look so hot. Like, there's definitely some issues with it. It's not come apart yet, but it looks like it's close. All right, so let's go back, close it back. Cover looks really nice. These areas right in here, I don't see, uh, from an angle, I don't see uh, those odd lines that I saw on uh, issue 10. So um, I feel like this one's just slightly better grade than the other book. But... Let me know in the comments below if you like this book, if I should be working on this book for the next two uh, episodes. I'll have one episode where I'll do a cleaning, and then we're, we'll do some pressing work, and then any blue light um, treatment that might need be needed to be done to the book. All right, so Adventure into Fear number 11. All right, Adventure into Fear number 11. Let's see how it fares on the comic collecting analysis tool. Starting with the bindery. Uh, bindery looks fine with the book. So I'm going to call it tiny. Corners. Um, there's some issues with the bottom left corner, bottom right corner. There's some damage on top right on the back side of the book. Corners look pretty good, except for the top right. So I'm going to call it moderate. Uh, the edges look great of this book as well. Uh, there is some uh, finger bend creases. So we're going to call it moderate. The spine has some color breaking ticks and a little bit of a spine roll that needs to be removed. So I'm going to call it extensive. Staples are great on this book as well. I call it tiny. Cover looks great, front and back. Tiny and pages. Pages, there's slight yellowing, uh, but for the most part, this book looks better than issue number 10. So we're going to call that, let's call it minor. All right, so let's look and see. This would be um, grading right now currently is a 6.5. We'll see if it can be improved. I think the binary will stay the same. The corners will stay the same. The edges, I believe we can reduce the bends that are on the, on the, on the edges. The spine. It actually looks better than the other one. It has a spine roll. I believe the spine roll can be removed. So I think that would make that one moving down to a minor. 
Staples look great. Let's keep it the same. Cover looks great. And page quality, I think we can improve it slightly with some blue light treatment. So it looks like we may be able to move this from a 6.5 up to an 8.0. That's great. Let's go to the next book, and it is Werewolf by Night 33. And we'll go over that book. All right, here is Werewolf by Night 33. This is the second appearance of Moon Knight. And uh, this book is, well, it's pretty beat. It's pretty low grade, but I think it's an important book, and it's uh, one that I've always wanted to have. And uh, this was gonna. This will be a fun project if you decide that I should work on this one. Well, starting with the back, pretty dirty, really rough, really dirty. Got a little bit of residue running up the length of the book there. I do think all of this is going to clean up really nicely. There's some kind of spilled gunk on the back of the book that I can see. Edges look good. Top. Bottom edge looks good. Corners look, they look a little worn. This corner, bottom right looks good. Top right looks good. There's a little bit of a funny roll with the book. There's a little bit of a spine roll. Whoops. Let's try to get that without creating any damage. Front and cover. It's got a definite haziness to it. It looks really dull. Um... I do think the blue light treatment would probably bring that all out and improve it dramatically. Spine on the front uh, has a number of, you know, there's a number of spine ticks. They're color breaking and they're pretty worn. We've got corners looking good. Corner looks, they're all pretty, I don't know. Bottom left looks good. Bottom right looks decent. Top left looks decent, but this top right does not look hot at all I'm not sure what's going on if the book has been folded over it's got some wear somebody enjoyed this book read it and uh, treated it i don't know i guess with a little bit of love but that's my job bring it back to life and i think this book will really really have a dramatic improvement if you choose this one so let's look at the grading right now and uh do the grading analysis of this book based on its condition. And we'll also look at what we think um, the grade bump might be with the book as well. So let's go to that now. Okay, Werewolf by Night 33. Let's look at the bindery. The bindery of the book looks decent. I'm gonna give it a minor score. Corners look pretty beat up and ratty. And so I'm going to call that extensive. The edges of the book do look decent. And we'll call the edges moderate. There is some moderate wear. Spine of this book is pretty well beat. And is there a little bit of a spine roll? I don't think so. But it's pretty worn down. So extensive. All right, there are some issues with the staples. The lower staple is pretty bent. Let's call it moderate. Cover itself looks pretty dirty, especially the back side. Let's call it moderate. And the pages on the inside look pretty good, actually. Pretty good. So we'll call the inside page is moderate. I think that can be improved with the blue light. So as of it, as it stands right now, this book looks like it's a 4.0. And let's see what we could get it to. The binary will remain the same. Corners will remain the same. And the edges most likely will remain the same. Spine. I think the spine can be cleaned up a little bit and look a little bit more presentable. Let's take it down once. Staples, really not sure if I can improve. This bottom staple is crooked. It's been bent 
and I'm not sure if I can improve that. And the cover itself could definitely be cleaned up uh, substantially. And I think that could be brought down to tiny. And pages, page quality, I think can be improved. So it looks like this book is a 4.0 with a potential to get possibly a 5.5. All right, so those are the three books to choose from. Please, in the comment below, if you could let me know with your comment which of those you'd like to see me work further on. Cleaning, I'll do an issue where I uh, do an episode where I clean it, and then I'll do another video where we do the press and any blue light treatment that needs to be done to the book to really bring it out to its best form. Werewolf by Night 33, Adventure into Fear 10, Adventure Fear in 11. Hey, stay tuned for the close-ups.